Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you three variations of the guillotine, standing guillotine. Which is like, I'm going to show you from the standard one, the regular one, until the nastiest one, okay? So, um, when we want to set up the, the guillotine, usually when, I mean, you can get the guillotine when, like, in the street fight, people, like, they try to take you down and you can get a headlock, okay? Now, let's just say it's, it, it's uh, like a competitive grappling or it's in Jiu-Jitsu. So, usually when, when we started standing up, I'm going to grab his head, he's going to grab mine. And he's going to grab, grab my bicep and I'm going to grab his bicep. This is usually the, the what, what is it called, the, the lock up, okay? The lock up. Now from this position, what I want to do is to get this hand which is on the bicep to the inside first because I want to establish inside control, okay? Whoever controls the inside, who controls the game, okay? I want to establish. And then I'm going to step back and at the same time, I'm going to snap his head. Remember, I, I put my hand on the back of his head, not on his neck, because his neck is strong. He can punch it up from here. But if I put my head, my hand on the, on the back of his head, it's harder for him to push it up, okay? So from here, from inside, I'm going to step back and I snap his head. And I'm going to put a uh, chin strap first, like this, okay? When I put a chin strap, I want to make him look that way, okay? And I'm going to be happy on my shoulder, be happy on his, on his neck, okay? Like this. Now, I'm going to connect my hand together, okay? I'm going to, I'm going to slide his hand a little bit, and I'm going to connect it like this, okay? So it's going to be like this. Once I made the connection, we're going to start with the first guillotine, which I'm just going to do, I'm going to pull my hands up, and then I'm going to arc my back. This is the standard position, okay? So here, heavy, slide, connect my hand, pull my hand up first, and then I'm going to, remember, when I try to finish, I don't want his head to be, to be appearing, okay? I want all of his neck under my bicep, okay? Pull up, and I'm going to arc my back. Okay, <coughs> that's the standard guillotine. Okay, second one, still the same setup. Okay, the problem with the standard guillotine, if I'm doing this, he can put his hand inside my hand like this. Okay, he can put his hand inside my hand, and then he's he's trying to break his grip. Okay, he's trying to break his grip. So that's the problem with the standard guillotine. Okay, the second variation is called the marsalotine. So instead of keeping my hands like this, I'm going to try to leave it. I'm going to try to put this elbow on the back of his uh, on the on his back, okay? Like this, and then I'm I'm still gonna arc my back the same finish, okay? Now the nastiest one, the nastiest one. I'm going to slide all the way through, okay? I'm going to slide all the way through, and I'm going to push his head. This is the power guillotine. This is what John Jones used on Leo Machida. He used this grip. John Jones used this grip. What I like to use, I'm going, so from here, I'm going to slide all the way through and going to put his head on my, on my solar plexus. I'm going to do a little naked choke grip and then I'm going to thrust my belly forward. Okay, that's the nastiest one. Oh, thank you.